<laughs> oh. oh! Let me help you get them! Ah! Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, huh? Dr. Hoot. Oh. I wish I were super tall so I could reach all the apples. <laughs> I'll tell you the secrets about your height. Let knowledge click. Hmm. <laughs> when we're little, tiny cells in our body work hard. Yeah. They make new parts and help our bones get longer and help us grow. Inside your bones are some spots called growth plates. When you're young, they stay open so yeah. your bones can grow. So my bones grow longer all by themselves? That's right. When you grow older, your body makes special hormones. They send ah. a finish signal to slowly close your growth plates. So your bones stop getting longer. This oh, protects man. your body. If you kept growing forever, your bones, muscles, and hearts would get too tired. So stopping growing helps our body stay healthy, right? Exactly. Oh. If you never oh. stop growing, you could get into big trouble. If you keep getting taller, your shoes and your clothes will get too mm. tight. If you grow too tall, you wouldn't fit inside your own house. It would be so hard to talk to you. You could eat and eat and still not feel full. One day, you might not even fit on the earth. I understand now. One day, I'll grow to a healthy height. Being strong and confident is more important ah. than being super tall. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Why do you have no hair? <laughs> That's a secret about human hair. Want to explore it with me? Ah, yes! Let knowledge click. Uh -huh. On top of our heads, there are thousands of little flower pots called hair follicles. Each follicle is like a tiny pot, and your hair is like a baby plant growing from it. Hair doesn't grow all the time, it grows in three stages. Anagen, growing stage. The hair like the little plant grows and gets longer. This stage can last for many years. About 85 to 90% of your hair is growing right now. Catagen, resting stage. The hair follicle takes a short rest and gets smaller. Blood flow to the hair slow down. Hair stops growing for a few weeks. Telogen, falling out stage. After about three months, the old hair falls out, and a new baby hair grows in its place. Does hair fall out a lot, Doctor Who? <laughs> oh! For most people, it's normal to lose 50 to 100 hairs every day. If your hair is getting thinner or falling out a lot, might be because the follicles are very small or they rest for too long. Adults can lose a lot of hair and slowly become bald. Here is some reason why. First, there is a hormone called DHT. It makes the tiny hair pods shrink and smaller pods grow thinner, weaker hair. Secondly, as you get older, your hair follicles get weaker. Next, if someone in your family is bald, you might lose hair more easily too. If you don't eat well, as stressed, don't sleep enough, or don't take care of your hair properly, your hair can fall out faster. Let's play a guessing game. Which of the three stages have most hair to make our hair nice and thick? A. Uh -huh, I was right! <laughs> Correct! Thanks to the long energy stage, our hair can grow healthy and beautiful. Mm. 
That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing, Wufu? Oh! Um. Hmm. Mm. Seems like you've been using oh. your phone for too long. Don't you know what happens if you spend too much time on your phone? Um. Let knowledge click. When you stare at the screen, you barely blink, and that light makes your eyes dry. Mm. If you watch too long, tired eyes can make you feel dizzy or become short-sighted. No! Oh. The blue light from phones confuses your brain about bedtime. So it's harder to fall asleep and get deep rest. Using the phone too much can even affect meals and your digestion. If you eat while watching, your brain is busy with the screen instead of chewing. Then your stomach doesn't work right. If you use the phone too much, you might depend on it and get upset or angry when you can't watch. Other harms include losing focus, headaches, and even losing your appetite. That means I can never play mobile game again? Professor? You huh? can still play, as long as you know when to stop. Breath your oh. eyes for 20 seconds. After every 20 minutes, look outside oh. or close your eyes to relax. Change activities oh. after each screen time. Like running or playing outside. Don't use phones before bed. Instead, read a story or draw. Lastly, no phones during meals. Oh, got it! Too much phone time is really bad. From now on, I'll use it just the right amount. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> Why am I still hungry? Even though I already ate. Do you know oh. why you feel hungry, Wolfu? Uh. Mm. Let knowledge oh. click. After we eat, our body digests the food and sends the waste down through uh. the intestines. Wow. But when the tummy oh. starts to get empty, a special hormone called motilin shows up. Motilin makes the stomach and intestines squeeze and move, creating those grumble grumble sounds you just heard. <laughs> this sound is the signal that your tummy is empty. Is that why I feel hungry and want to eat right away, Professor Hoot? Hmm. When the stomach is empty, ghrelin, or the hunger hormone, sends a message to the brain. Time to eat. The brain hears it and alerts you. That's why you feel your tummy empty and wants to eat right away. Not only your tummy, your blood can tell your brain you're hungry too. Our body needs energy and things like sugar, fatty acids and amino acids to run, jump, learn and play. When the amount of these nutrients in the blood gets low, the brain reminds us again. Eat so you have more energy. But sometimes we feel hungry not because our stomach is empty, but because food smells yummy. Or just because we're bored. Oh, so being hungry isn't just from an empty tummy. It's also because of hormones and the brain. <laughs> then I'd better eat now, or my tummy will bother the whole class. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! No! No! I just woke up and found out I lost a tooth. That's nothing unusual. Huh? But I can't find it. What if I swallowed it? 
<laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell you the journey of a tooth if you swallow it. Let knowledge click. When you swallow a tooth, it won't fly around in your tummy or poke into your heart or lungs. Our body has a special path for food. The tooth will follow this path just like the food you eat. Then it will go down to the stomach. In the stomach, there is a special juice called digestive fluid. It helps break down food. But this juice cannot dissolve teeth. That's because teeth have a special outer layer called enamel. It's even harder than bone. So, will the tooth get stuck in my tummy forever? No, <laughs> not at all. Our body is a wonderful system. Even though it can't digest a tooth, the intestines wow. can still push it out like other waste. In the end, the tooth will say goodbye to your body when you go to the toilet. Most of the time, swallowing a tooth is fine. But sometimes, these things can happen. You may feel like choking, coughing, or having trouble breathing. That's because the tooth may be stuck in your throat. You feel unusual pain inside because the sharp edge of the tooth might have scratched your stomach or intestines. If you cannot go to the toilet for many days, the tooth may be blocking the way out. Your tummy will feel very uncomfortable. Remember, your body always gives signals oh. when something is wrong. Mm. So tell an adult ah. right away. Yes, I remember. Swallowing a tooth is not scary. But if something feels wrong, I must tell an adult. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs>